1989, Daryl Braithwaite heard a song that changed his life forever. The Horses, originally by Ricky Lee Jones and Steely Dan's Walter Becker, was the cover that elevated his career. And now, nearly 30 years later, it's become a beloved staple of Australian pop music and memes. You can hear it covered by bands in Sydney, chanted by Hawthorne fans after a big win as their unofficial anthem, And the song has become social media gold. But what is the enduring quality of the horses? Well, the first thing we should look at is the song itself. The horses has a pretty standard structure with three main sections, the verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. It has a steady beat, clear bass line, and a pleasing blend of instruments to fill out the harmony. And, as is the case with all glorious 90s ballads, there's a key change. The verse is in B major, and then goes up to E major for the uplifting chorus. The song has some clever devices to grab your attention too. The verse is a bar shorter than you might expect, which means the pre-chorus sneaks up on you, never giving you the chance to tire of Braithwaite's dulcet tones. And perhaps most importantly, the song uses a marimba in the accompaniment. See them trying every way they know how to make their spirit fly. And a marimba always makes things sound better. I don't have any science to back that up, but I believe it. And that's good enough for organised religion. But The Horses is also a pretty cheesy song, right down to the Bolton-esque film clip on the beach. What kind of a loser would go to a real beach? The vague poetry and the optimism of the lyrics meet a bright chord structure and easy listening tempo and create something we can understand very quickly. It's basically so meaningless that you can apply your own interpretation to it. And that's one of the most powerful things that pop music does. It's how it finds its place in the lives of many different people. In 1991, the horses sat at the top of the charts for just two weeks, but it stands to sit at the top of our hearts and mines and Australian meme pages for decades to come. And that's the way it's gonna be. Let's go.